Hello again, fellas. Welcome back to the live channel. Just Cause 3. I am the proud owner of the 100% world record speedrun. Well, I used to be. You see, this government fugitive right here took my record. So today, I'll be taking it back. Wait a minute. He's an hour ahead, and the whole thing's like 12 hours to be... Uh, hold on. It's gotta be something else. Uh, aha! Today, I'll be taking the record in the far more prestigious, seven minute long race to Mr. Snowman category. The run is as follows. <clears throat> plane, wait a minute, jump off plane, land in ravine, leave ravine, meet Mario Frigo, skip cutscene, hop in, the poop box, sick cliff jump, steel tank, shoot tank, left, right, left, right, kill motorbike gun, skip cutscene, helicopter, fly, goofy stop, get on minigun. New helicopter, land very carefully. Skip cutscene, back in helicopter. Once again, fly goofy style. See snowman area, see snowman, stand next to snowman. What do you think about that, Rico? So, we meet again, Mr. Snowman. So true, Rico. So true. And that's the run. So, let us begin. I don't know the speed run, I don't know the route, so let's just do it. Runs 1, 2, and 3 all went down the drain, and so did the stream, because of what I like to call an... <clears throat> Avalanche Studios moment. I just wanted to have a fun little stream. All right, from the top, I'm just, Snowman. Okay, but on run four, we made it to the car. We made it to the tank. We made it to the blue helicopter, and we made it to the minigun. But while uh, borrowing the military helicopter, I blew myself up. I just... <laughs> we kept going for research purposes, so purely for the sake of research, I blew myself up again, and just to really lock in my findings, I did it one more time. Hey, that's the guy who talks shit about White Castle. Get him, boys. Oh no, they found me. Oh god. Oh no, the Americans. They didn't like my tier list. I don't want to get waterboarded in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh. This isn't so bad. That's right, fuckos. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. I mean, War Thunder. It's time to hunt some war. Would you like to drop hot, sticky, burning loads all over the Vietnamese? Well, you can. Would you like to take to the skies in our hyper-realistic depiction of the Super Marine Spitfire? Well, guess what? You can! Or maybe you'd like to take things a little slower and roll around in this. Or this. Or this. The hell is that? You can, idiot. Download War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X or S, or any console from the previous generation. I am not asking. I am demanding. Do it now, or bad things will happen to you and those you hold most dear. Maybe you want to go arcade mode and have some fun with your mouse and keyboard. Maybe you want to go realistic mode and be realistic. Or maybe you want to purchase a $480,000 simulation rig and use it to fly the F4 Phantom with every component, knob, and bit modeled down to the smallest detail. Tanks, helicopters, jet, 2,000 vehicles across the full spectrum of war. And perhaps, thunder. I like this game's community. They know far too much. How on earth do you get your hands on these classified documents? And why are you sharing them around? Oh, I know. It's to make sure the damage model is as realistic as humanly possible. That's right. No hit points, no health bar. Only your components and their individual propensity to go... Anyway, uh, download it now. Claim your free bonus 500,000 silver, premium vehicles, boosters, seven days of premium, and some other stuff, and back to the video. And just to really lock in my findings, I did it one more time. But this time the cutscene actually played, which meant I couldn't get the helicopter back, and so I improvised. I stole a car, drove to a military base, stole a much slower helicopter, and made my way over to Mr. Snowman, setting the blisteringly fast personal best of 12 minutes, 34 seconds, baby. A simply phenomenal 24th place. Right, run number five. I made it to the car slightly ahead of the world record, but lost that lead sliding out like an idiot. But the real-time loss came from the game soft-locking, so I had to self-destruct and redo the entire tank session. Landing the helicopter properly on my first try got me the lead back, so I finished off with a blazing fast PB of 9 minutes and 28 seconds. Oh yes! Moving us up to 20th place. World record speedrun with racing wheel. Well, would you believe it? I have a racing wheel and pedals. You use the accelerator to go forwards in Minecraft. From here on, I would restart the game before every run to avoid soft-locking. A bit inconvenient, but I knew it'd all be worth it when I claimed that beautiful world record badge once again. On run number six, I crashed the car again, discovered a new groundbreaking technique for helicopter flight. Gah. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Speed. And blurred why the world record parks the military chopper so far away. Is that okay there? Will that despawn? If that despawns, I'm gonna be so sad. Did it despawn? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> run seven. This was my first good run. 
No huge mistakes, but still plenty of little fuck ups. Five seconds behind my PB getting into the car, but I made it back with some clean driving. Lost about 10 seconds because of fucking motorcycle guy, but without a soft lock. I made it to the blue helicopter about 90 seconds faster than my PB. I then discovered another incredible method for flying. No, 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 no and finish the run 1 minute and 34 seconds ahead of my personal best. Okay, this might be the best run of the stream. Maybe. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, 7.53. 20 seconds. Run number 8. Lost 2 seconds because of bad dude RNG. Nothing you can do about that. Except cry. Lost a second killing the motorbike guy, but then saved 4 whole seconds from landing the military chopper very quickly. I was a bit slow on the final descent, but despite all of that, I set a new PB of 7 minutes and 50 seconds, jumping us all the way up to 4th place. This was a pretty good time, just 17 seconds behind the world record. But in such a short speed run, 17 seconds is quite a bit. So to see where I was going wrong, I watched the world record for myself to analyse in meticulous detail. Maybe I should do some frame by frame analysis of the footage. The footage of your bathroom break? Probably not. <laughs> From this, I learned a few things. One, this cliff jump is stupid, so don't do it. Two, if you get on top of the car instead of jumping out of it, you can grapple to the tank earlier, saving about one second for free. Three, if you just don't suck, there are about 10 seconds to save on the tank section. Four, aerial acrobatics are slow, so don't do them. Five, if you jump down from the minigun platform, you can grab a rocket launcher, which lets you position yourself better for when the helicopter arrives. And six, in this category, loading times aren't deducted. And this guy's load times are insanely good. I don't know how he did it, but over the course of the run, I was losing like five seconds each run, purely from load times. Ruby Phoenix, if you're watching this, send me a hard drive. And it over. Run 11 was killed by this guy. It was just a dude. But run 12 was a new PB. I was still far from perfect. There were six seconds between me and the world record. So where do those six seconds come from? Well, I fucked up and lost about two seconds at the start, another two seconds on the drive, and the last two seconds came from load times. For the first four seconds, I really just had to focus and play the game better. That third issue, however, I really couldn't do anything about. I did realize, however, that the rocket launcher was a waste of time. As long as I made it to the helicopter as soon as possible, I was good to go. But worry not, folks. Despite the bad load times, my next run would be on pace to set the world record. All right, 7.33 a beat. That was so fast. I swear that was fast. Let me in! No, no. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? No, 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 no. Oh, did I get out? It is, it's here. Oh my god. Runs on. Go, go, go. My heart's beating. Are we approaching a W? Perhaps. I'm concentrating so hard. Mark, scratch your nose. No. Alright. Come on, come on. Speed! Uh! No! Fuck! A tie. I tied my fucking PB. And yeah, sure, I made a couple of mistakes, but I know this has been three and a half seconds longer on load time. Whatever. Next run. Run number 14. Killed by a motorcycle gun. Run number 15. Denny's is good, but Denny's isn't fast food. 150 menu items. I had the griddle. Oh my god, I'm fucking missing all the skips. It's all gone downhill. I'm talking about fast food. I gotta be talking about explosions. I thought I was quite low. <laughs> White Castle is amazing. Run number 16. Fucking motorcycle guy again. Run number 17. The fucking motorcyclist lived again! Get over here, you little shit. I just... Shut! Also, the longest load time yet, costing me eight whole entire seconds. Run number 18. I lowered every setting to the absolute bare minimum, hoping loads would improve. Say goodbye to nice res. They did not. I was in the car by 157, did some impeccable driving, getting to the tank three minutes into the run. Get in! And into the blue helicopter by 3 minutes 50. Fucked up real bad getting on the minigun, losing about three seconds. Absolutely annihilated the idiot motorcycle guy. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. This could be it. Oh my god, I'm on pace. Go, you bastard. So, oh. we meet again, Mr. Snowman. Fuck! <laughs> if you remove load times from both of our runs, that was the world record by exactly 4 seconds and 22 frames. And listen, I don't want to be an asshole over the silly snowman world record, but load times probably 
shouldn't be included. It is just a little silly snowman world record. Like, come on. We're gonna do it one more time. I did a few more runs just to see what would happen, but it uh, didn't really amount to anything. Okay, video over. Subscribe, go download War Thunder now, and uh... Hello! Hunt Ward. You know, you... Okay, bye.